Hey everyone, it's Mike Bond with The Cashflow Company. Today we're going to go over Burr, DSCR, and bridge loans, putting them all together. How do you get in and out of a property with zero to no money in? I wanted to go over a call I just had. This is a gentleman who called. He's in Upper Michigan. He had done flips before with partners and even kept a couple rentals, but he's never used Burr and or any financing to handle this because he's always used either partners or cash. So he wanted to figure out a way to take this property down with a bridge loan and then take that property and refinance it into a long-term loan. So here's the scenario. You have a person who wants to put a little to no money in, but he found a great property. He's buying it for 200,000. He's gonna put about $22,000 into it, seven grand for closing costs. So putting together a loan for him for 229,000 to cover everything is what we proposed up front. He asked, just like a lot of people, why can't I just use a DSCR to buy it, do all the rehab, because there's so much equity into it? Like I talked about before, he's looking at a loan altogether of 229 but the property is worth, for a flip, probably all fixed up in the 350 plus range, but as a rental, probably 330 to 340 range. He's like, you know, I'm walking into a lot of equity, I'm buying this for 200000 why can't I just use a DSCR loan? I said, you can, because it's minimal work that needs to be done. But like any traditional loan, since you don't own it and you're just buying it, you can't use the equity that's there. All lenders are gonna still require you to put 20% down and you're gonna have to cover the 22,000 and closing costs. All together, you're gonna put all that money into this transaction and you don't want to or don't have it. It's just going through the steps again in Burr the reason we do the bridge loan is to get ownership because once you have ownership of the property, then you could use refinancing because you own it. Depending on the seasoning, some seasoning it's only a day or two, but some it's three or six months that you own it, you could use that appraised value. So I walked through, let's do a loan for the 229 so you cover your purchase, you cover your rehab, and you cover your closing costs. Now that it is all done and you're starting to rent it, let's go to the DSCR. So we take that 229 and we do a loan, a DSCR loan for 235. Once again, pays off all the bridge loan that covered the purchase, the rehab, and those closing costs. So those are all taken care of. Now we refinance it into a DSCR at 235 and that's gonna cover the closing costs for DSCR. He may have some money out for holding costs for a few months until he gets it rented, but other than that, he's not gonna have anything out of pocket. Why? Because he found a great property. We see this all the time. Clients finding good properties, typically in smaller communities. The community he's in is about 100 to 125,000 people. So you're gonna find these in smaller communities. Remember when you're looking at this, the Burr strategy put together correctly, which is buying it with the bridge type loan, financing all the closing costs and repairs into it. And then once you own it, you get to use the appraised value. And as long as the property comes in in the appraises where your loan is under 75% of the appraised value, then you can refinance it all in. On this property, as long as his appraisal comes in at 335, and we believe it could be anywhere between 330 and 340, he can refinance this at actually under 70%. He can get a better rate on the DSCR and have it all wrapped in and have no money in. Buy it for 200, put 22 in, all the closing costs, all in for 235, property worth 335, just built $100,000 of equity, he expects a minimum of a thousand bucks a month, if not more, in positive net cash flow. He's created equity and income really out of thin air using other people's money. That's what this all does. It is a great position. It's great to see this happening still in real estate. Even with rates increasing, it's out there. If you have any questions, you want us to run through a deal, show you how to put it all together as long as it's a good deal, that all comes in under 75%. Small towns, we love them. We can help you with those. So you're looking at finding properties, rentals that have good cash flow, that have good equity. Be picky. You may only find one or two your first year, but it'll keep growing. And remember, we're here for you, the real estate investor. We have a lot of free downloads on our website, The Cash Flow Company, that helps you with understanding DSCR and Burr and all of the bridge loans and everything that goes with it. Check it out. We're here to help. Email us, contact us, and we'll see you on the next video.